Hello YouTube, this is Soundwave913 coming back at it again at, well, my door. Why are we looking at the door? Because we're doing a room tour. Now, I've attempted to do multiple room tour videos in the past, ever since the launch of this channel back in 2011, I believe was when this channel started. Which, we're on nine years now, believe it or not. And I decided, finally I'm going to do an updated room tour. Because all the other ones went on too long, which is why... In this video, I'll be splitting it into two parts. So for this one, we're going to be looking at my Transformers. And the second one, we're going to be looking at everything else. So video game stuff, that type of thing. Like this Mario poster. Mario, Mario, it, it depends on the day for me. Anyway, so enough talking, let's go. And we start down here. We have, uh, that is Supreme Starscream from Transformers Cybertron. And right there is Siege Sound Blaster. He doesn't have anywhere to go, although I think I might have room for him somewhere else. And then moving up here, this first drawer is full of just random Transformer stuff. So we have like little PBC stuff, like half of a Lyokaiser, uh, the Robot Hero stuff. So here's Optimus holding the Matrix of leadership and all that sort of jazz. Is there anything else interesting? Huh. It's jazz. So, there's that one. Yeah, there is there is that. The second one. Yeah, it's not coming out for whatever reason, but this is... There we go. My sound wave drawer. This is where most of my sound waves go. So, let me uh, take this flashlight out, and I'll show you them. So, I know real professional film quality we got here. So... We got, you know, some Transformers Prime ones. We got some R.I.D. 2015, some Titans Return. This is where just a bunch of sound waves go. Because I do want to have a sound wave shelf eventually, but not now. Anyway, moving past my things, you know, that stuff. And a very dusty cable box. We move to this shelf, which is my Seeker shelf. The Siege one specifically. I love this mold. I love this mold so much that I did my own repaint. That is my custom nacelle. I will point out a lot of my customs in this video just because I'm that type of person. Anyway, I have most of them. I have most of the Siege Seekers. No, I'm not missing one whatsoever. There's Blackwing. That is actually my third Blackwing. Believe it or not, the first one I bought for the character, the second one I bought for another custom, and this one was $4 when Power of the Primes was getting, you know, shelved for Siege stuff. So he was $4, and I have an idea for him, but I'm not sure if I want to go through. But, yeah, you see them all. There they all are. There's, I think that's, oh god, okay, that's Acid Storm, that's Ion Storm? And not Sunstorm, and then all the other weirdos. So, there's them. Then, moving past some other random nonsense, we've got this shelf. Elf is new, because I actually today, before I filmed this video, did do some renovations, and we am use the flashlight again. This is what I call my random shelf. It's just bots who have nowhere to go. So, there on the left is Ectotron. There's a few other lads and ladies, and... One of my most recent additions, that being Transformers Universe Drag Strip. He was purchased via Twitter from uh, Brentosaurus, so that was cool. There's one other dude you'll see that I got from him in a bit. And uh, let's see who else is here. Uh, Prime RC, Windblade, Tomahawk and Terror Dive, which I never have any idea where to put those two because they were released in the movie line, particularly Hunt for the Septicons. But he has more of a Chug G1 aesthetic, and Terror Dive has more of a movie aesthetic, but neither one fits on any shelf or line. So, then moving up here, we have most of my Beast Wars stuff. I do want to point out this isn't all my Transformers. I don't have my G1s up here, for example. I keep them downstairs. And also, I have a bunch of stuff in storage, mainly from the Unicron trilogy, but we'll get there when we get there. Beast Wars, however, as I switch arms, is, this is most of them. 
Except for two, that being a uh, Transmetal Air Razor and this one Beast Machines guy I can never remember the name of. So, starting on the left, we have more of the modern stuff. So we have Generations, Rhinox, and Rat Trap. Power of the Primes, Primal, which if you've seen my top 18 of 18, you will know that that guy made on the list, and he's really good. Honestly, he was my favorite leader class from Power of the Primes, but I never messed with the Optimus, so can't really give fair judgment. And then we have some of the classic stuff like Tigertron and Cheetor and 10th Anniversary Dinobot as I get the professional flashlight out. The battery is dead. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on. There we go. So, real professionalism. So we have Dinobot and Rhinox from the 10th Anniversary line. There's Crystal Widow, which is technically Universe 2.0, but it's a Beast Machines mold and a bunch of others. Beast Wars Megatron, love that figure. And in his hand is the Bot Bot's Quackles, I believe his name is. One of the few Bot Bots I own because he's pretty cool. Oh, and Cat Scan, there he be. And Transmetal Megatron. I do own Transmetal 2 Megatron, but it's a bootleg, so I don't display him. There's no bootlegs on display in my collection. Um, I don't think bootlegs are the greatest, but honestly, they're not the worst things ever. And let's see who else. Oh, Quick Strike, always a classic. And Air Hammer, another one of my favorites from Beast Wars. And then moving on to the aligned continuity, kinda. So we have FOC Bruticus. Hasn't held up the best, but honestly, I still like him in, in his own regard. We got Grimlock, we got Soundwave, and back there, Sound Blaster, and a bunch of the other guys. War and, Fall, War and Fall of Cybertron had some of the greatest toys ever, with some exceptions. I do want to get Kickback and um, Air Raid one of these days. Also, the Air Raid is one of the few I need, along with um, Kickback. Other than that, I think I've got all the other molds from this line. And then the iffy, iffy cassettes. Like, Ravage is shit. These two are good, and those two are solid. And then that... Big piece of shit is uh, Optimus Maximus from Prime. He is, he's all right. He's something. There he is, this bulkhead and Ironhide commanding him. And then moving over a little bit is my RID 2000 collection. This is most of it. The only things not here are a lot of these little dudes, but I only had these three on the space. I like Scourge. That's a cool mold. He looks cool, and X Bronze awesome. And most of team build build team uh, there's grimlock there's wedge and hightower i still need um the last dude i don't know his name but uh i need him and wedge's gun and there's prowl and rail spike and uh scourge scourge is a good one and my two two of my three alternators or binal text there's hound and smokescreen i have the optimus but he's awful so i don't display him and he's broken so there's that and Generation Skybite. So, moving on from there, we have more aligned continuity stuff. But before we get to this, actually, I do want to move down to Peg. These are Gundams, but uh, shout outs to Kotobukiya Megatron. He's quite nice. This is my aligned continuity shelf. So, this is mostly Prime, Prime Beast Hunters, already 2015, and a little bit of Cyberverse, because honestly, Cyberverse hasn't been too good. There's my most recent figure on the show. Well, actually, no. There's one other recent dude. There's uh, Skyfire slash Jetfire. He was bought because he was cheap. Uh, he's all right. And a few other lads. Uh, let's see. There's Bulkhead. You should recognize him if you've seen not top 19 to 19. The shameless shilling continues. Uh, there's Magnus. There's all them. Roadbuster. Uh, Twinferno. I actually do have the deluxe one, but uh, I still have yet to open him. And there's my most recent guy as he's fallen over on the shelf. That is the other figure from Brentosaur. That is R.I.D. Well, yeah, so Transformers Prime Scout slash Cyberverse Commander Magnus. So I am an Ultra Magnus fan. He's my second favorite Transformer behind Soundwave, obviously. This is my custom Cyberverse Spark Armor Ratchet. He's got some paint decos on him, mainly... 
in the face was painted gray with the red chin strap the red on the ambulance like things i forgot what they're called and the stripes on the doors so i think he looks a thousand times better and then back there is my one rescue bot found him at the flea market i believe that's hoist but that doesn't matter because Soundwave. So we have all three of the main ones. We have the Deluxe from R.I.D., the Cyberverse Deluxe, and the Prime Deluxe right over there. And Thunderhoof with Skywarp just hanging behind there. And a bunch of other lads. A few Tiny Titans. There they all are. There's a little Starscream and then two really bad figures. You know, Cyberverse Deluxe, Thundercracker, and that pretty bad Scout class Starscream. There's Knockout. Honestly, I think this figure's not too bad. Uh, I remember hearing when this figure came out, a lot of people didn't like this guy. He's honestly pretty good, other than one day I was messing with him and the neck broke. But he does have, if I can get it to work, some solid light piping. But not as good as Shockwave back there. And Megatron and Starscream and all those weirdos. There's Viacon and the... Where is she at? There she is. The really good Arachnid. And it sucks that the really good one is a Scout class. Not Scout. Legion class. Le Legends class. Whatever you want to call it. Cyberverse Warrior. I don't know what they call them these, these days. Back in my day, they were Legends. Anyway. Moving across the roof. Or the ceiling. Or whatever you want to call it. We have my masterpieces. Most of these are... Well, they're mostly U.S. release, but we have a few Takaras in here as well. So, starting on the top, we have Star Saber, who is pretty good, except that shield, he can barely hold it. Those elbows are weak as piss. Uh, Revel Tech Convoy, the original. Grimlock. Poor Rodimus. This guy, his leg broke. I don't know if you can see it. And let me turn on the light. Turn on the light. There we go. Come on. Great, great quality. But, um, you can see he's actually holding on to a stick. His legs broke. Unfortunate. But I do have, like, this evolution Erotimus thing going. I think that's kind of nift. My four world's smallest figures. So we got Prime, Thrust, Prowl, and Sideswipe. I do have a few bootlegs, but, uh, again, they don't count. Des Desatus, uh, Thrust. Thank you, BBTS, for having, having him for under 100, because honestly, that's how much the Seeker Mold is worth nowadays. Like, the Seeker Mold isn't good uh, at the moment, in my opinion, but a lot of these figures are good. Like, Thundercracker, my favorite Seeker, and Thrust, my second favorite, if you're wondering. I know five of you care. Oh, man. Ghost to Starscream. Now that, that's a good one. Uh, look at that translucent and with the um i think it was kfc did the upgrade for that it's a fantastic figure definitely one of my favorite masterpieces one of my favorite things i own honestly this is so cool but then oh the boys masterpiece sound wave and sound blaster that's the u.s sound wave one of these days i would like to get all three which is the third one being the red eyes japan version but eh, i'm good with these guys and then Shattered Glass Soundwave and a custom Robot Hero Sound Blaster. If you're wondering where the rest of the cassettes are, uh, I believe it's Laserbeak Ravage and Laserbeak Ravage and the red guy are in his chest as I you know, freak out with the camera and Ratbat's in Sound Blaster's chest. This purple chest bit falls off really easy. Uh, quick warning if you get that guy. And as for the blue guy, there he is next to the flashlight I know fantastic so there's the blue guy or in my household rumble there's g1 sound wave with bus saw on his chest and good old my my first seeker slash my first masterpiece guys sky whoop that's his name he's a bit broken and I got him as a kid I guess and uh, he's a he's a bit He's a bit worn and torn, as I said before, and he was on clearance. And then the Acid Storm. But hey, look at this shit over here. We got Masterpiece Ultra Magnus. Very good figure, in my opinion. He looks awesome. And look at that truck mode. The car carrier. One thing I love about Masterpiece are those car modes. I mean, just look at Road Rage. 
That is a sexy car mode. This is a Corvette Stingray from the 70s, if I remember correctly. I love me some Corvettes, and, you know, we have the Datsun Bros Blue Streak, we have Ratchet, and Bumblebee, along with my boy MP01. There he is. I love MP01. Uh, he's a little outdated, I'll admit, but he's still cool. And then, right next to these guys is a... I can move to the side a little bit. So we don't get much of a glare. This is the 86 movie poster. This isn't an original one. This is a 2001 reprint, but I still don't care. This thing is awesome. Uh, yeah, there it is. And then, moving to my window, we have the rest of my bot bots. So fun fact, I bought, I think it was this guy and these two in the single packs. And then I got the five pack just for the, the graffiti spray paint one. And then I went a year without buying bot bots, and then I got these two along with um, the duck, I think last year. And that will be the last bot bot I buy, unless they do something really cool, because I don't know, bot bots are just whatever to me. Although some of them are really good, like these five I think are really good. And uh, these four, five are alright, and the duck is awesome. Quackles. And then... Uh, yeah, I'm filming at night, so sorry. Excuse if everything's dark. We have Trypticon. There he is. Looking awesome with uh, Brunt and Full Tilt. That's his name. Trypticon's cool. He hangs near the bed. And G1 Trypticon for good measure. Moving past stuff for a future video. We have the other Titan boys. We have Metroplex and Fort Max. With a bunch of shit on them. So we have like a McCree keychain from Overwatch, a Terry Bogard hat, and some Mario dice, along with 50 Cent Sea Spray. If you want to guess how, why I call him that, also, uh, he, he's a bit broken. And our boy Skyfire. Why do I keep saying my boy? I don't know. I just say shit as soon as it comes up. And then Six Gun, along with our man Red Alert. And Ultra Magnus, he is there. Along with Cog and then Fort Max, looking proud with Ken Masters right there. And then Skylinks. And then, actually I do want to point this out. I've had this for years. This is a Transformers guidebook. This is a very old and outdated G1 guidebook. Like, there's Rodimus of like prices and such. That's honestly... That's pretty good. And shout outs to Origami. All right, moving up, moving up. I'm not gonna be able to rank it up there, but uh, that's my Transformers animated collection minus Deluxe Pro. The reason why he's not here is uh, well, unfortunately, uh, when I unboxed him all those years ago, literally when I first transformed him, his head just went flying and I could never find it. So he's not here. But hey, the Legends class one is, so he's technically there. Low key, I kind of want to get some more animated figures, mainly Rekgar. Rekgar's kind of been on my mind recently as figures I want to get from this line, but they're real animated. I actually just rewatched the entirety of season one, and yeah, I forgot how good animated it was. It's a good show, go watch it. So yeah, yeah, they all are. And then moving down, we got the movie lads. So this is movies one through three with mostly the screen accurates, but then we have some weirdos, right? So. For example, as the light decides to die on me, there we go. We have Longarm, who wasn't a character in the film, but the truck was. Same thing with Landmine. And then we have Nightwatch Optimus back there with that kind of crappy RC. You know, etc., etc. It's just... One rule I do have, though, is with the Deluxe, if they're normal, if I have the Legion class assortment version, I have, like, the weird color. So we have the gold Costco Bumblebee. The Red Ironhide, the Blue Optimus, uh, the Ice Cream Twins, there they be. Uh, that, I believe that's supposed to be Dino slash Mirage. That's like a bluish side swipe. Tank Ore, uh, ROTF Starscream, Bone Crusher, and then of course Soundwave, the blue one. And Dark in the Moon Soundwave, which, oh my god, I am so excited for that um, Studio Series 1. And Grindcore. No, that's the... That, that's that guy. That's Grindcore. That's Grinder. But hey, Stockade. Yeah, I'm just... 
Can I get the light piping to work? Kinda. That's a good figure. If you don't have stockade, well, get him. But there's Brawl. I know he's like, there it is. Look at that light piper. And then Long Haul, Megatron, other Megatron. Dark of the Moon Megatron doesn't have his head, so that's why he's not here. There's Dark of the Moon Sideswipe. And Seekers. I know they weren't only Starscream was in the films, but I, I just wanted all three. And the Traitor Man. Anyway, then moving down to a shelf you can't see. Now you can, as I try and grip the phone. We have movies one, four through six, technically, with the Bumblebee movie. Including this little Bumblebee figure that, if you saw the film the first day, well, you got that thing. And a little tiny hound, little tiny cliff jumper, dragon storm, barricade, and all of them. So, there they all are. Honestly, a lot of these toys, I did not collect a lot of the figures from this line because they're kind of bad and I have a lot in storage. I would say my movie collection is probably the biggest besides like Generations and G1 because I love the movie so much. And we have the weirdos who didn't appear in the movie. These are just some of my favorites. My man Dropkick and oh, Rakic, that's a good figure in my opinion. I, he's so good I have two of him. Like that guy and then Bludgeon who you saw on the other shelf. RC. Some of the best scout class. S scout class. There we go. Scout class figures, in my opinion. We have Hubcap. Brims. Oh, yeah, that's his name. Brimstone. Uh, poor, poor Dune Runner. His leg is broken and his waist broken out, so he's permanently a robot. Breacher. Oh, Breacher's a good one. And then my good old Armor Hide. And a bunch of other lads back there. There's Sandstorm. And Lockdown. And a bunch of other guys. Hey, look. It's an action master. Then moving down to the Unicron Trilogy, we have Tidal Wave, Powered Up Prime with Jetfire, all these guys. This is most of my Armada stuff, minus Red Starscream and Yellow Hotshot, and a bunch of Minicons, but uh, yeah, there they are. I still have no idea what happened to Cyclonus' rotor. If you remember, if you're a long time viewer, I reviewed Cyclonus years ago, and he had the rotor, I have no clue where that went. A demolisher. Anyway, Energon Decepticons. Few bro Shock Blast is very broken, so just want to point that out. There's Energon Cyclonus, though. Uh, Energon actually had a lot of good figures. Like, I love that Sharkticon, which, again, if I can get it right. Light piping. Light piping is a good thing on Transformers. Energon Starscream, really good figure, in my opinion. And then just some generic dudes. Dive bomb. And then, I don't think I have to use the light too much. Uh, yeah, I still do. Because, sneak preview. Um, these are some lights I got a year or two back from Target. They were on clearance when Christmas was out. They just drown, They just go around this shelf. Because honestly, I think it looks cool. Uh, Energon Autobahs. Autobahs. That is clearly not a word. More randoms. RC, Kicker Man over there, and, oh god, that's Landmine, that's his name, and Bulkhead, and yeah, there they are, there is Cybertron, which I have the most of, there's still a few Cybertron figures in storage, but, uh, there's Optimus, weirdly enough, I was really excited for the Siege version of him, but then I saw him in the store, and I'm like, oh, he's a, he just honestly kind of disappointed me, I think I might still get him eventually, but not now. And there's Siege Hotshot. And there's all of them. Decepticons. There they are. Galvatron. Got him a few years back. And actually, I forgot to put him on top 17 of 17. And a bunch of other... Oh, there's Cannonball. One of the best repants of all time. GTS Ransack and Dark Crumple Zone. And Thundercracker and Sound Blaster. And Sound Wave is right over there. And then... Other weirdos? So, a few non-show appearing characters, and then a bunch of other Autobots, like Beige Colored Vector Prime, Metroplex, Nemesis Breaker, Unicron, Downshift, which is unfortunately missing a thing. I want to point out, right, with the Unicron Trilogy stuff in particular, a lot of this comes from flea markets, so just want to point that out. And uh, there's Blue Armor Hide, and I think that's about it. 
Now, I do want to give a shout to the closet because it's a bit messy, but uh, right over there is Energon Unicron or Dark Energon Unicron. Green, black, and gray, orange, Unicron, whatever. Omega Supreme and Primus. There they all are. There's the big boys. And you'll see the rest of that closet in the second video. Because now we move on to probably my favorite thing to look at, which is my generation shelf, the Siege War for Cybertron classic shelf. I love looking at this shelf. So going up top, we have Omega, and we have the combining dudes. There is uh, Air Raid. I have Alpha Bravo. I want Quick Slinger slash Slingshot, but uh, he'll do. And there's Defensor. He has Groove. Now, I am getting to the point with my generations, like, there's some characters I'm not swapping, like, I'm not swapping the new, this Wheeljack for the new one. Uh, I did not swap Hound for the Siege one. Like, the only ones I swapped for Siege were Optimus, Ratchet, and Ironhide. But, uh, I could definitely swap this guy. Trailbreaker definitely needs a, I'm probably gonna swap. And definitely these two. I mean, that's the G1 gears. <laughs> I don't have a good gears. And that Huffer, oh my god, we need a new Huffer. So, and Cliff Jumper. I am super happy about the new Earthrise one coming out. And then, Season 2 Autobots. That's all Season 1 with a few Season 2 guys. Oh man, Blaster. That's the other War for Cybertron guy. Slash Fall of Cybertron, man. I don't have any of his cassettes, but he was again a flea market find. We need a new Blaster, man. Uh, who else? Oh, there's all the female Autobots. Did not replace the Datsun Bros. I love that trio way too much in the original Classics versions. These two, I think, will be replaced. Mainly Grapple. I like Grapple, that figure. I got him last year, but that new one looks really good, and I think we're going to get a way better Inferno than that one. So, there's that. And then there's, like, the old Classics Red Alert. Then Decepticons. There they are. There's Menasaur. Don't have Wild Rider. And there's Blitzwing. Which, he kind of feels like the oddball on the shelf, mainly because almost all the Season 1 and 2 Decepticons are now in Siege. Uh, there's the Classic Seekers. There they all are. All the Reflector guys. And then... Right. Uh, red, blue... Red, red guy right there. And blue dude. There they are. Or, I call them Rumble and Frenzy, as I said before. Uh, little red guy. And... There's Ravage, there's Laserbeak, Nightbird, that Astro Train is amazing, there's Soundwave, there's Megatron, and yes, I know Onslaught's right next to him, I kind of treat him as a generic Decepticon, and honestly, I like that figure way too much to put him in storage. Uh, and then, Seasons 3 through 4, there they are. They of the Autobots, there's a lot of characters we kind of still need, mainly the Autobot Target Masters, that would be nice. And then you'll notice these three are kind of the weird ones because where's Titans Return, Hot Rod, Cup, and Blur? Simple answer, I did not pick up Cup because I think he looked off, although the new the um, Takara Legends one actually looks real good. Uh, Blur, I like the colors on this one a lot better. I could have gotten the Legends one, but that's way too expensive. And Hot Rod, I have Titans Return, Hot Rod. He's good, but I treat this guy as Hot Rod. That guy is Rodimus. And there's Combiner Wars Magnus, which is... The reason Siege Magnus isn't on this shelf is because he has to be the same size, in my opinion. Because I always imagine Magnus to be the same or taller than Rodimus. And then we need a new pipes. There's the Headmasters. There's Crosshairs. He's the newest guy on the shelf, I believe. What, can you even see him? There he is. And there's Punch, Counter Punch. And then the Custom Pinpointer that goes with him. And then, moving down, Decepticons. There's my Predaking with the custom sword, which was in top 18 of 18. I'll post a link. If you want more info on the sword, go to that video. I, I put a link in that, down in the description of that video of the thread I made the sword in. There's Abominus. He's pretty good. My favorite of the uh, Combiner Wars molds. Although the Seacons, I'll have to see. And then... These two. That Cyclonus is amazing. And I have the old one as the Armada. I like this Galvatron. I know a lot of people hate him.
But honestly, I just have some nostalgia for him. And also, I think he's better than the Titans Return Galvatron, in my opinion. I don't know. The Titans Return one is still, like, one of the biggest disappointments to me. And, uh, well, I don't th I think everyone can get on board for me having both of these. Because Sweep, Scourge. And then, <sighs> this guy. Misfire. Wave 5 Titans Return. If you want to go get him, good luck. Misfire, I've seen go for 60 on his own. I should know. I've seen it. I've been looking for one for a custom. I thankfully paid under 40 for another one, but... Uh, there's custom calibers, because the one we got was... Yeah, yeah, I didn't like that one. There's Siege, A-Face, and another regret. I did not put on top 17 of 17. I always kind of regretted not putting Six Shaw on that list, because he's actually pretty good. And then the Duo Cons, always a classic. And then... I didn't get the um, Siege on Cybertron BBTS pack, but I did find Pounce on his own for a reasonable price. That isn't $40 for a Scout class. And then this guy will be replaced soon with the, hopefully, I New York to Toy Fair is away, coming real soon. So, we should get some reveals. Speaking of reveals, hope we get some more weirdos from G1, including that double dealer rumor. So... Here they all are. There's the, um, this is mainly characters from the 86 line, um, not 86, eight, kind of 88 onwards with mostly Marvel comic characters, etc, etc. There's Barricade, there's Galactic Man. I do want to point out, I did not pay full price for Shockwave, but I paid full price for Galactic Man. I, some of that was kind of by his name alone. There's, I always want to call him Grand Slam, but, or Slam Dance, I don't remember. My custom Rook, there he is. Uh, I don't think there's any other customs on this shelf. Uh, a lot of them are on the next one, which you'll see in a sec. Some pretty good MicroMasters. There's Spinister, and a few others. And my man Powertrain. And then moving over to the, one of the final shelves, we have this one, which is my IDW one, which is mainly guys who are now retired, so. Springer has been moved here because of Siege. Same thing with Astro Train and Blitzwing. My custom... This is... Alright, so story. This guy right here was my first custom Transformer ever. A few years ago, I found him. I repainted him. And then I picked up a cheap Power of the Primes Jazz and did a repaint of that. So there you go. Story time over. Siege Hound and Prowler down here because I think they fit with the IDW. And Rung. This guy is pretty alright. And uh, there's Rook. And... Nova Prime, as I call him. Uh, yeah. That's about it for that one. And then moving up. Generation 2. I love G2. It's a great series. I love the designs. There's my custom Manta Ray, which is made from Sea Spray. He's alright. And then, oh, God. That G2 Menosaur. But those upgrades, that figure is a thousand times better. I hope we get a new Motor Master, but... Eh, I'm not... I'm not hopeful about it. I do hope we get it, but we'll see. And then all the other G2 weirdos. I love Generation 2 so much. And then this is where most of my customs are, which are mostly Master Force with some victory. So we have my custom Minerva, Lightfoot. That is Giga. That's Mega. And then Hydra and Buster. So there they all are. There is, there is everything. So, yeah. Th I love the Japanese continuity. I think they're cool. And then, hey, Overlord. He was like, I believe he was second or third on that list of top 17 of 17. Could be wrong. And then finally, well, second to last is Studio Series. So we have my Decepticons, which I have a, a crap ton. There is Megatron. That's my most recent one. He's quite good. I have most of the movie one, dudes. Except uh, I don't want Barricade. Except for that keychain. So, there they all are. And, uh, yeah. I love Studio Series. Can't say the same about the Autobots, unfortunately. I don't really have many of them. There's Bumblebee Prime, Bumblebee Bu Bumblebee, Dark Moon Ratchet, World War II Bumblebee, and Movie 1 Prime. That is it. I used to have Jazz, but he has been sold. And then finally, because I missed this guy, these last few earlier, come to the desk with Combiner Wars Devastator who chills on my desk, and uh, there is my out-of-date G1 list, and my out-of-date, 
who we still need for 84 to 87 list. That that list is outdated. And then some GoBots. Well, okay. GoBot Machine Robo. That's Drill Rod from Action Toys, I believe. He's good. I don't have any more of them. I kind of want the Loco. That's kind of cool. I have more GoBots, but they're downstairs with my G1 stuff. But Screwhead's my favorite GoBot, so he gets to chill up here. And lastly is a custom Swordfish 2 from Siege 6 Gun. Uh, I'll get into more explanation on that one in the next video. But yeah, there we go. That is, I believe, everything Transformer related I have shown you. So, yeah. Look forward to the next video as I zoom in on Devastator. This guy is actually quite good in my opinion. I know the Hasbro one's not the greatest, but he's, he's quite good. Scavenger in particular is real good. But uh, yeah, this is Sound with 913 signing out. Have a good one.